I ordered a Sunco 709 AD because it was 220 volts. It's 50 hertz. And when I ordered it, I ordered it for in a 220 volt system. But when I got it, they sent me 120, just a normal 120 volt plug, US plug. Um, and the thing would not even under max power and full impulse sounds like Star Trek full impulse full impulse it did not uh, spot weld anything so what I've done is I put this plug on it I cut the 120 volt plug off and put this 240 volt plug on the wiring that came with it so it has 120, 120 over here, and that is ground. There's no neutral wire. So, this is what the inside looks like. So we have one fuse in there. So we got 120. This is ground. And this other wire is another 120. So it has 240 volts. I made a receptacle uh, just uh, uh, on my off my fuse box so I could have this plug because there's no 220 plugs in our house. And I thought, well, I'll just make an extension cord from our fuse box to my office where I do all my work. So, anyway, plugged it in, thinking what's going to blow, but it actually worked. So I'm going to check it out later and see how it does as far as spot welding. This is the Sunco 709 AD which I ordered uh, in the 240 volt version. Well actually it says 220 volts behind it. This is be the first time I've tried it and I'm just going to see how it does. I have both of them here the 709 A and this is a 709 AD. And this will be the first time. And I'm going to turn up to maximum power, which I have here, and no pulse. And let's just see what happens. I've got to change this pedal over and get my foot over here and just to see what happens. Whoa! This is at pulse 2. Wow! Hmm, okay. Pulse 2. Alright. Let's go for pulse. Try it again. It's stuck. Surprising. Four pulse. That's four pulse. Crap, I don't even think I have to go past four pulse. Let's spot weld a few more of these things. Wow, I'm impressed. That's four pulse and one each. Okay. Okay, now I did it. It's, it's at four pulse right now. And I'm going to measure the average. Okay, I have it set. I'm going to put it on inrush. Clamp it on here. Put it on inrush. There we go. This is at four pulses. Let's see what it is. 167 amps. Wow. Keep in mind, this is at 240 volts. The other one was 280 something, and that's at 120. I don't know. I need to go any further, but I'll put it on 10 pulse here, just for fun. Oh, reset this. There we go. Four 
432. Let's see what happens when we go all the way. It'll probably burn the hole in the top. Whoa! Oop, I didn't reset it. Gotta do that again. This is four, six, eight, eighteen pulse. Whoa! 467 amps. Way too much power for these. I probably burn a hole in the top of the cell there. So, four pulse is alright. And only do spot weld one at a time. Wow. That's good. I wanted to show you one other thing while I was here. <laughs> when I found out that when I was spot welding these things, I put the tape around here to separate these because it would start touching. And there's a spring in here, and the spring got so hot that I had to put this paper wedge, it put a wedge in there to keep these apart. And you keep them apart, it'll go actually go through the nickel, down into the battery, and back up to the nickel. And you can see this one right here, it's never, it hasn't been hot, and so they're spread apart, which is perfect. Very happy with it. What I did is I made an extension cord because my 240 volt outlet is about 50 feet that way. Very happy with it. Yeah, four pulse. I think that's all you need. Spot weld 18650s. Nice. I'm very happy I converted this over to 240. This could be a question right here. Could I convert this to 240 volts? And the difference between this and this, it has the same kind of rectifier in there. Well, um, I don't know what that solid mass is called in there, but it says 220 on here, even though on the outside it says 120. I probably could convert this, but this one has a fan a cooling fan. If it gets too hot, it'll cool down. This one does not. So it's really not designed for 240 volts. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. Good result. Good result at 240 volts. I just want to make a, another comparison between the 709A and the 709AD. 709A again is 120 volt and I'm going to put it up to maximum power, maximum impulse, and going to see the amps that come out of that one compared to the 240 volt one. Uh, use this cell right here. Now that's maximum power, 120 volts and 273 amps. 273 amps. Now again to compare the other one, turn this one on. Wrap it on here, change our foot pedal, and I'll put this back on maximum power, that one was 273, and this one is, whoa! 566 amps. Huge difference. So, I guess this would be the bottom line. Get the 220 volt system, and which would be the 709AD versus the 709A. Far superior, and you can only need one impulse per cell, which would be nice less damage done to the cells and the hold. And that's the bottom line. Thank you for watching.